<laughs> I guess I gotta go uh, over the top. Oh, almost. All right, guys, you ready for this one? The Yoshimura Blast 2023 darts review begins right now. review time. I have an absolutely amazing video for you today. I'm super excited about this one, as I am with pretty much any Yoshimura darts review that I do. And I can safely say this right out of the gate. These are by far and away the most grippy Yoshimura barrels I've reviewed yet to date. I mean, the grip level here, just absolutely absurd. I mean, the grip level nearly maxes out my grip level chart. But yeah, in today's video, I'll be taking a close-up look and reviewing the brand new Yoshimira Blast 2023. Now, check this out. I was just, uh, I was looking just yesterday or last night over on the S Darts website in Japan, probably the most popular dart shop over there. And even though these darts pushing 200 US dollars, completely sold out already. So, as of the uploading of this video, I'm making it right now. I'm not sure where you can buy these things, to be honest with you. I'd have a link for you, but again, yeah, I don't know where you can buy them. You're just going to have to search around some Japanese web shops. Maybe they'll have a set, but as with most high-end Yoshimura barrels, man, they sell out of stock almost overnight. But yeah, regardless, we're going to go on with the video, and I promise you it's going to be a good one. But yeah, let's hop right into it, guys. The brand new Yoshimura Blast 2023 darts. Here we go. Alrighty guys, let me show you the packaging that you get with your newer Yoshimura barrels. Now, for those of you that have been around for a little while, I'm going to put a picture in the top left-hand corner there. That's the older Yoshimura packaging. It was a red cardboard box, but now they have this black metal box that you see here. Now, before I forget, the Blast 2023s come as barrels only. So for the rest of the video, I just happen to have a set of red Condor Axe metallic flights that you see there kind of match the red. So... That's what we're going to go with. But yeah, Blast 2023, barrels only. So as far as the box here, we have this generic white protective box, I guess. And uh, that's a cardboard box. Inside, again, we have this black metal box. Solid little thing. Now you open that up. Let me show you what's inside. And this is where you know you have a quality set of darts. So you get this little Yoshimura card there. We'll put that there and check this out. Inspection report. Match weight guaranteed to within one one hundredth of a gram. No other company does that. Again, that's when you know you're dealing with a high-end set of darts, right? And look at this. This is pretty cool, too. Owner's proofing card, basically a certificate of ownership. You get the Yoshimura seal here and product name Blast. So, yeah, that's pretty cool as well. So we're going to put that over here. You guys came to see these barrels. I mean, come on. Look at that. Wow. And yes, they are as grippy as they look. You've got some razor grip, a little five, I guess, yeah, five sections of razor grip, two up front. And yeah, when I say razor grip, that is about as sharp as a grip as I have ever felt on a set of barrels. And you see here, Yoshimura is known for their micro multi-ring grip. And that is actually pretty sharp as well. So some extremely grippy barrels here. And again, I said barrels only, but we will be rocking the Condor Axe Metallic. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, what do you say we go into the next clip and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions of this rather grippy barrel. So here we go. Yoshimura time. Alrighty guys, time for some rotating stats and dimensions. I mean, come on. Wow, that is a beautiful looking set of barrels. And I'm telling you what, they look even more beautiful in person. But we're going to start with the points here like we always do. They come with a set of black coated points, kind of on the short side though. They only stick out of the barrel 25 millimeters in total. Now as far as the barrels go, you know what to expect with the Yoshimira, right? 95% tungsten here. The barrel length coming in at 53 millimeters even. In the barrel width with these being a straight barrel dart, 6.2 millimeters wide. So really on the skinny side there. Now I did unscrew the stem. I checked out how deeply the barrels are drilled out in the back end and all three were 12.8 millimeters deep. Now, as far as the match weight goes, pay attention here. Yoshimura does things a little bit differently from other companies. These are advertised as 21.5 grams. However, that's the barrels only. They don't include the points. 
in their weight. So these are actually almost a gram heavier. Two of the barrels, 22.40, the other barrel, 22.41. You know, I was expecting perfect match weight. We're still in there with one one hundredth of a gram from lightest to heaviest. So yeah, Yoshimura is killing it with her quality control. But let's go into the next clip and I'm going to tell you just how grippy these barrels are. And uh, yeah, we're almost pushing a grip level five here. That's how grippy they are. Okay, guys, let me hit you with a quick grip level here. And you already know they're extremely grippy barrels, although they do not hold the title of the most grippy dart I've ever reviewed. That title, and I'll put a picture right there. That title belongs to the Kodo King Rex. I believe I gave those a grip level five, but I tell you what, the Yoshimura Blast 2023, pretty close. I mean, you see all the razor grip sections, like I showed you earlier in the video, there's five razor grip sections, two up front on the nose cone, and you can almost tell how sharp those are. They are, they're probably sharper than what they look. I mean, honestly, if you squeeze that hard, I swear you could almost cut yourself. I mean, I, I'm serious about that too. That's how sharp they are. Even this micro multi-ring stuff, it just bites right into your fingertip. I'm going to go ahead and say grip level 4.9 on a scale of 1 to 5. So, yeah, nearly maxes out my grip level chart. So, again, I just I don't know how I'm going to be able to throw with these things. They stick to your fingers. Boy, it's going to take a super light touch to be able to throw them consistently. So we'll see what I can do here. We've got a little bit of a lip on the front. I might run some tridents, but I'm afraid I'll get some bounce outs if the point sinks in too far. So... Yeah, maybe I won't. We'll, we'll just see. I got to go warm up. I have not thrown these things yet, so pretty excited to see how they fly, especially with the condors on the back end. So yeah, let's get them on the board, see how well I can throw a skinny, grippy dart. Okay, guys, here we go. So I don't promise too much tonight. As always, I'm going to try my best, though. But yeah, I recorded... The rest of this video earlier today, here it is a little bit later on at night. I took a break during the day and uh, man, no matter how much I use these barrels, it's so hard for me to get used to them. Going decades, decades ago, I developed a horrible case of dartitis. Just couldn't make my arm go forward. I couldn't get the dart out of my hand. Now, because of that, I prefer a, a barrel with a mild grip. This is the opposite of that. So it kind of kicks that dartitis up a little bit just because it sticks to my fingers. So it's, it's hard for me to get that dart to go forward, but again, we'll try my best here. All that being said, though, they feel absolutely amazing. For those of you out there that own Yoshimura barrels, you'll know what I mean, but they definitely feel different in a good way. I'm trying to have a light, light touch on the barrel. Oh, hey, third dart saver. We'll take it, 100 out of the gate. Nice. And I've always said this about darts this grippy, but man, they, they get to the board quicker, at least in my opinion they do. Oh, and by the way, I found, we'll put it over here. I found this picture over on the S Darts website. That is the balance point right on that front razor grip. Also happens to be right where I'm gripping the barrel. So I don't know if that's a coincidence, but that's where it feels, yeah, that's where it feels good. But yeah, that one razor grip just sticks to my fingers. I have to have such a light touch on the barrel. See, that one just got away from me, stuck to my fingers and sailed high. I'll go cover shot. For the most part, though, I mean, they're going dead straight. Oh, hey, run that back. One more piece of editing I have to do. 96, their dark saber. I would definitely need some time. I'm talking days, maybe even weeks, just to get used to this. I think under pressure in a match situation, these barrels would probably give me a hard time. Oh, right on the top wire. Can I get under that? Yes, I can. So, yeah, I mean, they're... Oh, is that in two? Aha! One... 40. Oh, that one's delicate. Is it going to stay in? I'm going to hold it. Oh, 140. Hey, what's that? 196, 140. Couldn't ask for much better than that. But yeah, like I said uh, just, a, just a minute ago, for those of you that own Yoshimura barrels, you'll know what I mean. They just, they have a nice, I'll put it up to the microphone. 
such a dense, solid sound to them. Wow. They feel amazing when you take them out of the box, but when you take them out of the package, you know you have something special. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, they are, they are that nice. They really are. I guess you gotta pay for that. Right there, they just stuck to my fingers. Trying to just grip the barrel as lightly as possible. <laughs> There's the treble five. And run that back one more time. Whew. Third dart is bailing me out. Okay, well, hey, I'll take this. What else can I say about them? Oh, you know what? I was thinking with this smooth section up front, almost kind of like a Chris Doby barrel on steroids, right? Just, yeah, because I think Chris Doby's barrels have the smooth section up front. So these are similar, except the grip is about 10 times more extreme. But last throw here. Hey, I'm pretty happy with how I threw so far. I'll just take three straight ones. Ah. Now see that the flight's a little down there. I'm gonna be stubborn, like all dart players anyway. Can I get under there again? No. No, I couldn't do it. Oh, and hey, look at that. 26 to round things off with. <laughs> well, that killed the average, but we'll stick with it. The other four turns are pretty good. So there it is. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with, the, with those uh, five turns. I didn't expect that whatsoever. So yeah, as you see, if you have a light touch on the barrel, I, I can throw them okay, I suppose. Again, I would need much, much more practice with these. But man, what an amazing set of darts. They really are. So let's roll into the 180. I have a beautiful sideways angle on that, something I haven't done before with this camera. And um, we'll do a little wrap up. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it so far. It is 180 time. That's right in the middle. Mm. Boom! 6.2 millimeter wide darts. You can do that with a third dart. I'll show you in just a second. Tight in the right hand corner. So there's the first one, right in the middle, second, and there's the third. All right, guys, perfect place to end the video with a super, super grippy set of Yoshimura Blast 2023 darts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, big thumbs up, always appreciated. But hey, I've said it before in other videos, I would prefer, where we'll put it right there, if you leave a comment, let me know what you thought of these darts. Let me know what you think of Yoshimura in general. And let me know what you think of this video. But yeah, comment down below. Now, um, I guess, yeah, I guess I can't give you guys a link. Because again, I'm not sure where you can get these things. Again, look around some of the Japanese dart shops. Um, maybe keep an eye on S darts. You can maybe message them, see if they're going to get any more back in stock. But yeah, I honestly don't know where you could get them. Even check the Yoshimura website. Maybe contact them. They have a few sets. Again, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, towards the end of the video, I usually give these things, uh, I usually give the darts that I review a recommendation on how well I think they're gonna work for a recreational dart player. I mean, pretty obvious here. I'm not really gonna recommend a set of near $200 darts to a recreational dart player. However, for those of you out there that are looking for the absolute highest quality set of darts, you see the, uh, the certificates that they include. I mean, if you're looking for something like that, you can do no better than Yoshimura as far as quality control, the, the display, everything. Again, with their certificates, you could frame those up. This is as good as it gets, to be honest with you. And you can guarantee that the match weight is either going to be perfect or within that one one hundredth of a gram. I mean, yeah, the, the quality control here, second to none. This, again, is as good as it gets. So... That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I love making these videos. And hey, get to wear my t-shirt as well. So until next time, we will see you on the next video. Later. Oh, hey, guys, I'm going to start putting this clip at the end of each video. 
Now, if you're in the United States for shipping purposes only, and you wanna purchase the set of darts that I just reviewed, or any of the other darts that I reviewed, hit me up. My business email will be in the description box, and um, we can work something out. I'll get the darts shipped out to you right away. I am so done with eBay. The fees that they're charging are just, they're astronomical. So I figure I would do it this way. I'll be able to hook you guys up with better prices. So yeah, hit me up, email down in the description box. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Later. Why should